Hi, I'm really excited to be bringing you this tutorial for these baubles, which can be Christmas or otherwise decorations, and journal inserts. These larger ones can also be made into baubles and decorations as well. At the moment, I've got three different designs. I've got these gorgeous watercolour fairies and fairy lights uh, with a matching bauble. You get both the large and the small version in the same kit, so you can make both. These also go to make um, journal inserts if you'd like to go down that route. There is a Christmas illustrations with these beautiful watercolour illustrations and I've also got a nativity set as well. Now for the sake of my prototypes um, I've gone ahead and made these in three different paper thicknesses so I can see what works best and I've made this one at 120 grams which is 80 pound text stock. It's good, it's great, I'm very happy with it. Even as a large bauble, that would work. Um, the fairy lights I've made at uh, 250... No, I haven't. I've made the fairy lights at 160 gram, which is £59 cover stock. I like this one. It's got a good amount of sturdiness to it. And the same with the bauble, obviously. And this Christmas one I've made at 250 gram, which is 92 pound cover stock. And that is really sturdy. When you've got these two pieces together, obviously that's 500 gram or 184 <laughs> pound cover stock. So that's really quite sturdy. And this is what this one looks like when it's inside a journal. Absolutely love that. But like I say, all of these work. I'm happy with all of them. Even this thinnest one at 120 gram, uh, 80 pound tech stock works really well. So go with whatever you've got, with whatever you want. It all works for this. So let's go ahead and have a look how we make this journal insert and the bauble that matches it. Aren't they fab? I'm absolutely loving them. Let's get stuck in. Your design may differ from the one I've got here. This is the fairy lights insert and bauble and there are two ways you can take this you can use the small one as an insert in your journal as well if you like so that when you open the pages you get the same effect or you can make both into a bauble uh, it's completely up to you so we're going to begin by folding the pages in half have a look at where you want the center line to be and fold all of your pieces in half some of them are quite dictated to you, others you can play about with and see where you want them to, how you want them to be straight. So just fold them all in half, lining up the edges of the circle like this. And you want nice sharp creases, so use the back of your nail or a folding tool, whichever you're more comfortable with. There we are. And once they're all folded in half, you need to decide which order you want them in. I'm just going to go randomly with the order that they're in now. And we're going to start gluing them together. This side you don't glue. So you glue the back of your first piece. making sure that you've got things the right way around. And you also want to be making sure that you're lining up the spines here. So line up the spine, stick it together, open it up, just slide it a little bit so that it's all nicely lined up. And you can go on to the next one. There we are, that's the last one glued down. And when we open it up, we've got this beautiful little insert. So that's that. The bauble, you make it in exactly the same way.
and you can of course use this as a smaller journal insert if you want to um, but to make it into a bauble all we do is when we get I'll get that lined up again when we get to the end we take our length of ribbon or twine or whatever it is you want to use and you're going to pop it down here allow a good length to go into the spine so you've got a good grip and whilst it's still tacky open up just ever so slightly in the middle between the so you've got three on one side and three on the other side we'll get a little bit more glue whoops not that much <laughs> what can I spread that out with get a little more glue down this spine here on the inside take our folded ribbon and just lay it down just half inside that gap there and then you can glue this last section my glue's coming out a bit rapidly here <laughs> glue that last section bring these two pieces together line those up twiddle about with your ribbon a little bit so that it's sitting in the center and there you have your bauble and you can also do that with the larger insert if you want to and put your piece of ribbon in in exactly the same way to make a large bauble so there they are to put this into your journal let's get this glue off the table to put this into your journal you would get your journal pages open them up and just align that in, in the center there glue one piece down like this put glue on the other side fold these pages together open them up and then you've got this beautiful thing that opens up like this when you open your journal there we are.